Hello, it is Sunday, fun day, September 3rd, 2017. It's practically dark here, and we're on West Coast time, so if you're anywhere else in the U.S., it's already ready, I'm sure, dark. No, I didn't forget about you. I promised to check in every day with a daily video, which I've been doing for the past five months or so. And I start by sharing one of the rhinos in my collection today. It's this very simple, plastic, hollow, cheap little yellow rhino. Just a silly little rhino from the collection. And uh, that's it. Just checking in on Sunday Fun Day. We just uh, caught up with a few episodes of one of our favorite TV shows, The Ray Donovan Show, uh, which uh, it always strikes me when we are drawn, for some reason, to watch these movies that center on criminals, like gangsters, you know, the, the good fellas or the Godfather, the Soprano show, or this Ray Donovan, these shows about these killing, kidnapping criminals who, I mean, it may be some kind of fantasy that we either were able to have the, the, the ease of getting our way as criminals do and as only the only other people do as the government, that use force. Government wants money, they say you gotta pay or else. And the government wants your land, and they say we're taking your land. And the government wants to make you do something and bang, they pass a law and they make you do something, or they make you not do something, or they make you not go somewhere, and so, so gangsters. So, for some reason, there's this fascination with gang. On our episode that went live yesterday, a new one goes live every Saturday. You can go to LessonsLearnedFromDonaldTrump.com or look it up on iTunes or wherever you find podcasts. And we talked about how different it is when you need to use persuasion with people in when you, instead of having force to be able to just force people to do what you say. And so uh, we enjoy watching these gangster things, but it is completely uh, an escape from real life where anytime there's a problem, this guy just gets to take out a gun, hold it to somebody's head and say, you know, do what I say or threatens them in some kind of way. And I guess that's the fantasy of the thing is I will never work for the government or be a criminal, so I will never be able to use that force which I see as a good thing, I will continue to get good at and practice excellent interpersonal persuasive skills to influence people uh, to ethically and willingly do what it is that will benefit both of us mutually, and that's the basis of business. But this is Sunday, it's not a business day, and neither is tomorrow, Labor Day. A day off for most people, most entrepreneurs like myself will be doing something, but also we're going to have some activity. We are going to be hanging out with uh, one of my clients and having some fun and having a barbecue and hanging out at the pool. And hopefully you're doing the same and enjoying your Labor Day and getting ready to go full bore back at work on Tuesday. Or perhaps you're getting something done work related either today or tomorrow. That's the life of an entrepreneur. And that's it for Sunday Fun Day. Thanks, Craig and Donna for being here. And I'll catch you tomorrow. I will be here with a video, even though the U.S. mail is not delivering on Labor Day. It's still Direct Mail Monday, and I'll be sharing at least one interesting piece of business lesson from it that landed in my mailbox sometime in the past week, not including tomorrow. It's a postal holiday, and I'll catch you then. Thanks for being here today. Over and out.